Hey everybody, this is Sara from Stroj Beauty and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys on how I shave my face and not only just that, I'm going to be telling you the do's and don'ts of shaving and also what you should be doing pre-shaving and post-shaving. So, um, I'm going to be giving you a lot of information on shaving in this video. So, if you're interested, then please keep on watching. Also, before I start in this video, I'm in no way pressuring you to shave your face. You can do it if you want. In this video, I'm covering everything about shaving your face. So, you will know by the end of the video if you are good to go or if your skin is not that great for shaving. So, you'll know that after watching the whole video. So, let's get started. So, these are the topics that I'll be covering in this video. So, it goes from benefits of shaving, pre-shaving, post-shaving care. Uh, do's and don'ts so stay tuned to know the full detail on shaving your face for women now first starting with benefits like where do i start there are so many benefits of shaving my face i've been shaving my face for the past two years and it has been amazing so the first benefit which is like the best is that it removes all the dead skin cells or the stubborn dead skin cells so what happens when you shave we remove all the peach was right so all the small speck of hair which we remove it removes all the dead skin cells along with it also so that's the major benefit of face shaving so the second benefit of face shaving is that the skincare products will be a lot more effective you know once uh, all the peach was and dead skin cells are not there on a face the skincare products we use will penetrate into the skin better okay so the third benefit which is such a blessing for me is that it is a good base for makeup so once you shave your face you are getting rid of all the dead skin cells, all the peach fuzz. Basically, peach fuzz is all these small hairs which you can't see, like all the small, small hair, you know. So once all of that is off, you have a very, very good canvas for your makeup to stay on. And your makeup just glides on beautifully, first of all, and it also stays on for a good amount of time. And also your makeup looks very clean, you know, because there is no hair um, as such, your skin and your makeup looks uh, really clean on the face so yeah it's a very good base for makeup so the fourth benefit is that it is easier it is painless and it is a great alternative to waxing and threading your face guys please 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 stop waxing your face it is just too painful and also because uh, you know uh, you are stretching your skin a lot while waxing it will cause you know wrinkles over time and sagging of your face so please stop waxing your face first of all it's so painful because you're putting that hot wax on your face please don't put yourself through that okay like don't do it and plus you are uh, you know stretching your skin a lot which will lead to sagging over time and you don't want that you want your face to be lifted all the time and you want it to look young as much as it can so please stop waxing if you are and also with threading please stop putting yourself through that pain it's I can't just imagine threading my whole face. It will. It is just too painful. Just stop. Just stop. And also another benefit is that it is a lot more affordable than waxing and threading your face. So yeah, shaving is literally the best thing ever. And if you want to start shaving your face, you have to know a few things before you start shaving. Like how to first, you know, clean your face before shaving and what to do before shaving, what to do after shaving. There should be a pre and post shaving care which you should follow so that your skin doesn't break out and there's no you know side effects as such so let's get started with those also i asked you guys on instagram if you guys have any questions on shaving and there are quite a few right here so i'll be answering those as well so first i'm just gonna put my hair uh, back i don't want my hair to come in between of my shaving you don't want to shave your hair off you know so please just have a good hairband or tie your hair up properly. Okay, so I'm going to scoop you guys a little in so you can see the whole shaving process up close. Okay, so now coming to the facial razors that I use. I used to use the Tinkle one. I use the Miniso one which I love so much. And the recent one which I've been using which is literally the best out of all is from Let's Shave. This is a company I came across through somebody's story. Uh, by the way, this is not sponsored. I actually bought this product by myself. And um, yeah, I've been using the razors. So I got these razors, like I got five razors. Totally, I've used one of them up. So I'm going to use another one right now. Um, so this is a little costlier than Tinkle and Miniso. And I, I bought it to see the quality of it. And the quality is so much better than Miniso or Tinkle. 
because you can use one razor for at least five times i can have used one of them for five times and yeah it has worked pretty well so if i even tried using the tinkle one for two times or something it would rust and i wouldn't be able to use it so to be able to use a razor five times is a very good thing so yeah it is costly but it is good in a long run and also it has this cap thing right here and it secures the blade really well which i like which i don't think tinkle and all does so yeah, that's why I like and I prefer uh, razors from Let Shave better than other razors. And also it has some texture right here so you have a good grip while shaving your face. So yes, I would highly recommend you guys to get a razor from Let Shave. So now coming to pre-shaving care, you have to make sure that your face is completely clean. There is no dirt whatsoever. So you can just wash your face with any of your face wash that you like. But wash it thoroughly. Make sure your skin is clean and there is no dirt on your face. So now coming to the actual shaving part, you have to make sure that your face is not dry because the razor won't lie down easily and it might cut your face. So you have to make sure that you moist your face somehow or the other. So what I basically do is I just spritz my face with some water. So yeah, this bottle has some water in it. This is not rose water. This is just basically, um, you know, drinking water in this. And I'm just going to spritz my face with some water. Okay, so my face is drenched in water and I'm going to start with this section first, the uh, side hair first. So I'm going to first pull all the necessary hair up. You don't want to cut all of the hair because that will look really bad. And now once I have pulled all the hair up, I can see all these unnecessary hair right here. And I'm going to start shaving. Now you have to make sure that you hold your razor like this, okay? and also hold it in an angle so you don't have to go like this you have to go like this you know you have to turn it a bit diagonally and then shave your face just look at this there's so much hair which you have to remove and I always have a tissue by my side so that I can remove all the excess hair on this. And then yeah, you just keep going in section and shave your face. Okay, so now if you have active acne, so here I have one little active acne. You don't have to shave in that place because it will just, you know, spread all of that uh, gunkiness. So you have to avoid those places and it will also trigger your active acne a lot. So yeah, just don't shave on that part. If you feel like your face is getting dry, you can, you know, spritz some water on your face. Make sure that you tie all of your baby hairs properly. You don't want to cut your baby hair along with the peach was. So be really careful around your eyebrows and that is why I have drawn my eyebrows so that I don't um, shave on that area. So make sure that you shave around your eyebrows really really carefully. You don't want to cut your eyebrows off. Okay, so I hope that the camera is picking this up. I have two active acne right here. Please avoid those areas, okay? Just shave around those areas but not on the acne. That would be like painful and please don't do that. So I'm going to skip these two 
uh, places so I'm just gonna shave around them but not on them you know so make sure you don't do that on active acne if there is acne scar it doesn't matter because it's just a scar you can shave over that area that's completely fine Always make sure that you go in a downward stroke and not like this. Don't go like this. Always shave like this. Even if it's your body, always shave like this. Never go against the hair growth. Always go where the hair growth flows. It's so crazy that we have so much peach fuzz on our nose as well but be very very careful on shaving your nose because it's not a flat area right so you have there is curvature so make sure that you shave properly I've cut myself here before please don't do that and be careful while shaving your nose Do you see how clean my nose looks? It's crazy. Okay, so I'm done shaving my face and before I start with the post shaving hair, I'm gonna go first wash my face with water because I want all the excess hair to also go off. So I'll just clean my face really well and be right back. I'll show you guys a closer look on the tissue where I removed all the hair and you guys will understand what this tool does. It removes all the dead skin cells and all the peach oils which is there on this tissue and grossly it's very satisfying to look at you know that there was so much gunk which is out of your face right now. So now coming to the post shaving care routine, it is very natural for our skin to feel a little irritated so you have to make sure that you use products which soothes your skin and heals your skin because it has been a, through a little exfoliation and the skin right here is kind of new, it's like you know babyish new skin so you have to make sure that you use products which soothes your skin you know and please avoid products which are too concentrated you know like serums and all that please avoid that for uh, quite a while and please avoid products with uh, heavily concentrated essential oils as well because they will tend to irritate your um, skin your post uh, shave skin so please avoid those kind of products now the soothing products that you can use is aloe vera gel now i do use an aloe vera gel after every time i shave i use the one from bubble farm i'll scoop a little bit of aloe vera and apply it all over my face as a mask and wash my face with some water so that will just soothe my skin and heal my skin from the exfoliation but since i don't have that right now i just ran out of it and i can't go out and buy that so i'm using the one from sugar so this is the alcoholic hydrating sticks and i'm making sure that all of the products that i'm using right now don't have any acids as well like salicylic acid or glycolic acid or any of that sort you have to make sure that you use products which are like more aqua based and you know give that give your face that coolness so i'm using one from sugar this is the alcoholic hydrating stick again and it will give a very good cooling effect on your face so I'm just gonna just dampen my face just a bit and apply this all over my face. Okay, so after that my skin is already feeling so cool I'm just gonna spread this product well and make sure that it absorbs really well into my skin 
Okay, so now once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go on with a gel moisturizer and the one I'm gonna be using is from Pons. So this is Pons Super Light Gel uh, Moisturizer and this has hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. So you have to make sure that your skin is really well hydrated. So hyaluronic acid will make sure that it does that. And also some of the ingredients in this uh, um, moisturizer are really good like glycerin and all that. Like all of these products will just hydrate your face. And I just removed this from my refrigerator so it is a little cool and that will soothe my skin really well. So I'm just taking some of it and, and applying it on my face. This feels so good. It feel, it's super cooling and you know all these products which are right out of the refrigerator it will really be good at healing your skin. Okay guys so we are done shaving and now coming to do's don'ts and your questions so first let's start with do's so the first do is to avoid sun exposure post shaving so i would suggest you guys to shave at night in a very good lighting so after applying all these amazing products you can go to sleep and your skin can repair overnight it can heal overnight so always make sure that you shave at night because you're gonna avoid sun exposure for eight hours so yeah, your skin will heal overnight. So yes, also if you shave in the morning, make sure that you apply good amount of sunscreen on your face. You should always apply sunscreen when you're going out. But if you don't, you should definitely at least after post shaving. Because uh, your skin, your pores are a little open right now and the sun can damage a lot, you know, on your skin. Because this is basically a new skin. Uh, there is no protective barrier so you have to make sure that you apply some uh, sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun rays post shaving. So the second do is that the face shaving itself is such a great exfoliant. I would suggest you guys to avoid any exfoliants for at least a week. So this itself is exfoliating all the dead skin cells, all the peach fuzz and all the gunk out of your face. So you have to avoid you know harsh or any kind of exfoliants for a week and you know just let your skin breathe and heal and all that so yeah avoid any exfoliants because the face shaving has already done the job for you so now coming to don'ts please avoid shaving on active acne so if your face is now uh, you know filled with active acne i would suggest you guys to avoid shaving uh, altogether but if you have just one or two on your cheek you can shave your face but make sure you don't shave in that area so the second don't is to not shave and an open wound so if you have a wound on your face you just got hurt or something or the other if you have any wound do not shave in that area because the wound is open and you know it can pass a lot of bacteria because you're basically removing all the dead skin cells and it might go to those wounds so avoid shaving when you have an open wound on your face the third don't is if you have a too sensitive skin avoid shaving avoid avoid shaving if you have really 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 sensitive skin you can completely avoid shaving i have sensitive skin as well but it's not extremely sensitive so yeah i can shave uh, my face i have been shaving my face for the past two years but if you have extremely sensitive skin then i think you should completely avoid face shaving fourth don't is if you are allergic to uh, nickel then please completely avoid shaving so these are all with the do's and don'ts and before i go on with the questions i want to tell you guys a few things before okay, so the first thing is that if you're shaving your face for the first time in your life you will see a color difference on your face this happened with me for the first time when I shaved. Like when I shaved my face first, I, there was there was like a night and day difference on my face. So that is just like there's just too much hair on the face which is being removed and the suntan and all the dead skin cells as well. So you might see a color difference. But please don't be worried. That's completely, completely, completely natural for that to happen. The second thing is if you have really, really thick hair, okay, not peach was. Peach was a very small, very thin and they're not noticeable so if you have thick hair on your face please avoid shaving as well i wouldn't recommend you guys to shave and if it's your first time shaving again please do a test like just shave this part first and see if it's uh, affecting your skin if it's not then you can go ahead and shave your whole face so do a, a patch test in this area first because you know this is kind of unnoticeable so it can go away so do a patch test in this area not on your jaw or anything because it might look different so do it in this area, just do a little patch test and see if it works for you or not. And now let's move on with your questions. 
so I'm just opening my Instagram okay the first question and also so many questions which are very similar to this is would there be excess hair growth after shaving no 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 this is just a myth guys see you're not shaving the roots this is just a surface the roots are within the skin so it's not gonna bother with your hair growth you're not gonna have a lot of hair growth all of a sudden after shaving your face because you're just shaving the surface you're not shaving the roots so yeah your hair won't grow back thicker or won't grow back faster but that always depends on your genes so the second question is the skincare afterwards for open pores i've already mentioned all the post shaving care so you can go through all of that so the third question is i want to shave my face but i'm scared what if my hair growth increases it won't increase because you're just shaving the surface area so it's fine okay so the next question is i'm getting small bumps post shaving you people also facing the same tell me how to fix it now that's a very good question and i'll tell you why those small bumps occur right after shaving that occurs also for me so what happens is once you when you're shaving your face you're basically exfoliating your face you know there's a, some sort of friction so your skin is a little irritated post shaving but that's completely natural it will go away in a day or two and your skin will look really really plumpy and it will look really good it's just that because of the friction it's a little irritated but yeah and those bumps also occur for me but that will go if you're taking care of your skin really well after shaving again the same question but after shaving won't the hair grow even more thicker it won't because you're just shaving the surface does your hair growth increase after shaving and all? No, it doesn't. I do want to mention on how to take care of your razors. It is very important to do that in case you are using this again, which I am going to be using it again. So you have to make sure that you take a cotton pad and take some rubbing alcohol and remove all of the excess hair and sanitize this razor well. Let it dry and put the cap back on for it to last longer so this is what you're gonna do for your razor to last longer so i'm filming the next day today is because i did get a few more questions in so i thought i'll answer them all and then end this video so the next question was i never managed to get a smooth shave now if it was body shaving video i would definitely recommend you to use a shaving gel or a shaving foam but i can't recommend that for your face because there's just too much chemicals for your face to handle but all i can suggest is that you apply a very good moisturizer or dampen your whole face like drench your whole face in water and that works for me and uh, maybe you're not getting a smooth shave because you're not holding the razor properly so when your canvas is dry you will tend to have very rough shaving uh, process so make sure that your face is well moisturized or well damped what i usually do and what i've been usually doing is just dampen my whole face with water and also you guys saw how much water i kept spraying on my face uh, whenever my face got dry i just stretched my face again with some water i need that kind of moisture on my face so like my shave goes on smoothly and if your shave goes on smoothly it will be much better even afterwards like the post shaving will be much better you won't get those bumps and all of that so the next question is how to prevent razor bumps i've already answered this question it is very natural for your skin to get irritated because you're exfoliating your face you know there's some sort of friction and then there's some sort of irritation afterwards but if you take care of your skin post shaving you'll be good to go and if you use the products that i've mentioned not only just products uh, instead of uh, the tri sugar one the aqua bomb you can even use some eyes you know to just soothe your skin use products which are soothing to your skin okay so do that and then you won't have uh, razor bumps lasting for a day or two lasting more than a day or two i don't have any razor bumps today you know usually i do have but because of the products that i use i used very very soothing products so yeah you can see this is my next day face and it looks just as good and it looks a lot more cleaner it feels so much better and uh, yeah my canvas looks really really clean you can see you can actually see how clean my face looks the next day there's no razor bumps or whatsoever and my skin just looks very clean so yes um if you take care of your skin post shaving you will not get razor bump problems and if you do do get it will just last a day and not more than that let's see if there are any more questions
again the questions are repeating about the thicker growth and all that which i've already answered so i'm not gonna answer them again because it's the same answer and yes i think we are done uh with the questions thank you so much for your input guys uh, some of the questions were really interesting and i'm sure the viewers right now are really clear about the answers and really clear about face sharing thank you for your input guys means a lot and yes guys we are done with today's video thank you so much for watching if you guys learned something from this video then make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon beside it and thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video